Oh yeah, co-angle series. It's time for the old how much gear do I bring video. So this should be fun. Um, actually, I'm just going to make it short and sweet. To start off, to clarify, there is no, in the BFL, there is no um, rules about how much you bring. I'm not telling you how much to bring. I'm not, I'm not saying you should or should not, but use this as just a suggestion on, uh, you know, past experiences and, and talking to other guys in the BFL. So how much gear should you bring to a BFL as a co-angler? I have two rules I follow when it's comes down to why I limit myself on gear. One, organization. Um, during the day when you have too much stuff, you're, it's in your way, you're tangled, you're tripping over it, you're always messing with it to get it uh, situated. And if you can limit that, your day will go so much easier. You won't be frustrated because you don't need that to be a frustration. Uh, the other thing is time. Not as much um, time because you're untangling it, but time because when you bring too much gear, you second guess yourself a lot. You're always changing. Um, you're either retying because you have too many things to pick from, or you're always picking something else up. So do some research. You know, when it comes to a certain lake, if there is a bait that you're hearing that is really on fire, you're bringing that. There's something that you really love to throw and you're confident in. You're bringing that. Um, and then there's different variations for depths of water. You're bringing those. Now you can bring as much gear with you before you meet your boater and everything. And if he explains kind of in detail what you're going to do, you, then you can really downsize and figure it out. But let's say you're going to fish everything. You're going to bring a bait for every situation. Don't bring each box you have. Don't bring your whole shallow crank box. Don't bring your whole uh, deep crank box and your top water box and every pack of worms you have. Bring a couple colors of the most confident baits. The more your bait's in the water, the more chance you're gonna have to catch fish. You don't wanna be changing baits all day. It all comes down to water clarity, weather, everything, but you can decide what you wanna throw. With all of that, combined you can limit your tackle the guy you should fear is the guy that brings one pole and one little box of some hooks and a pack of worms um, they're either crazy or they know exactly what they're going to be doing and what the fish are going to be biting so if you can figure that out more power to you I cannot do that, so I have to, you know, bring a little bit of each for each situation. But I'm prepared for each situation, but I at least limited it down to where it's convenient and easy to get through all my baits. I would limit it completely um, to five rods at the most. And that is not telling you that you can't bring more, it's just saying that five tends to start getting a little bit in the way when they're all stacked on that one side and they start to get tangled. Um, now when it comes to those five rods, make sure those rods are either very uh, lure specific or general, uh, general rods that you can switch to different baits on. So say you know you're going to throw a shaky head, bring your shaky head rod. You know you're going to throw a crankbait, bring a crankbait rod, but then maybe bring a medium heavy that can cover a few different other things and throw a couple reels with different line sizes or something like that in your bag where it's not taking up as much room, but you still have that versatility that you can change your reel out 
your line size out without without taking up too much time. Then uh, bring I would bring one bag. Um, I I have brought a small bag with my boxes and a small bag with plastics. Some boats it tends to get a little tight. You can put stuff in front of you, but it tends to get a little tight. So I would uh, I would try to downsize if you can to one small bag. And I mean the ideal situation and what I'm my goal is this year is I'm going to try to limit it to three rods and a small bag. Uh, I, I might bring more food with me than gear. And uh, that's no joke because I like to eat. So as long as I have my lucky socks on um, and the lures I like to throw, I'm confident enough to go into that tournament and get the bites to cut a check. Now, that don't always happen. I've zeroed way too many times. And I've placed in the top 10, not enough. So maybe that theory is wrong, but I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to enjoy my food, enjoy my day, um, and fish with the baits I'm confident in and uh, just have a good tournament. So that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, limit your gear to as the smallest amount you can with still allowing yourself to be versatile. That's the most important thing is be versatile, but be organized and um, and then you'll be fine. So I appreciate you guys watching. I like doing these co-angler videos. I can't wait for this season to start. Uh, just try to give me a like or a thumbs up or go ahead and comment and uh, tell me some things, you know, kind of share your tips with everybody in the comment section. Thank you, and we'll see you out there.